Hello, welcome to Cooking with Gonzo. I am Gonzo. Today we are going to be making fresh bayonets. It was believed that the Ursuline nuns from France brought this recipe over with them in the 18th century and made them famous. So, let's fall into the kitchen. We're going to need white cane sugar, flour, all purpose, doesn't really matter, a can of one cup of evaporated milk, two eggs, a packet of dried yeast, active, and salt. Oh, wait, yes. Shortening. There are other ingredients, but that will be for the next phase when we actually cook them and cover them in sugar. We need a cup and a half of warm water, as I said. I'll take that. A teaspoon of yeast. It's very simple, beautiful yeast. And that is one. Place. Add two eggs. And you can buy these sets anywhere. Walmart. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a little shy. Oh. Ah. We need a pack of flour recently. You don't want to pack a ton. Plus one, two, three, and four. So yes, it's going to be a bit strenuous. You're just going to be mixing with fragile. I do recommend people to use a mixer. Just a few Not a really good technique, but something like it. At this point, now we're going to use Crisco, which is a very general brand. <laughs> and that's just going to come up. We're going to just beat that in so we get a nice... We are going to add the last three cups of our flour. Something of this. Have to uh, chill. It's going to chill for 12 hours. That's just my smooth motion. It's your hump. We'll get tired. Four of lump of dirt. You don't really need it. Oh, that's just gonna sit there. For the next one, you can buy one of these at any night sense. So it's just a basic shaker. Tomorrow I will be making a chocolate pudding and a vanilla pudding, and I'll be using. That's one of the tools called a flavor injector. <laughs> With that being said, good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, right, welcome back. Part two of making our beignets. It has been over 12 hours since I've let our dough chill. As you can see, it has risen in volume and size. It's still very thick and consistent, puffy. Now, I've taken the liberty of making our fillers already ahead of time. This is a French vanilla custard, and that is a chocolate custard, obviously. I've also had the pleasure of pre flouring my cutting board and my rolling pin. Our fryer is set to 370, it's already nice and bubbly. Very cold. Nice. Oh. Alright, there. I'm just gonna roll it down. Gonna roll that out. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna pat it out. Using a good old hand. Okay. Turn that one on. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to turn this one on. Oh, yeah. Perfect. As uh, some places make them. 
Well, this is before you hit the straight guard and in on that sense, going with a full hook the dousing. Now, I've taken my food injector and I have taken a fresh vanilla custard and a chocolate custard. The end of the thing, you'll see the divot where the. And that's what we're going to do all of these old bad boys. We're going to just go to give them a smidge. Very good brush. Pudding. Release me. Here I am cutting the last of our dough. It's just going to be the same process over and over, only this time, as you can see, we're using a chocolate pudding now. Come to do it in my own way. Um, as you can see on the plate over there, that is our freshly made one. Thank you for joining Chef Gonzo in this kitchen. Uh, hopefully, I gave you all an idea of how to make fresh beignets. Mobulista kuulu se polokan tahti jalkani pohjii kukkutti Ievan äiti se tyttö se vahti vaan kyllähän ievä se jutkutti Sillä ei meitä silloin kiellot haittaa